The Japanese sourced next version of Resident Evil 3 is the best way to play the game on PC, and when you bring modding into the mix, it beats even the impressive GameCube version on Dolphin. And those of you who have been following my channel will know that I made something similar for Resident Evil 2 a few months ago. That video is slowly gaining momentum, so it's about time I gave Resident Evil 3 some love. The Seamless project is essentially a texture mod, which was originally made for Dolphin, but later ported to the Source Next version on PC. The benefit is that we get enhanced textures, plus all the tweaks that came with the classic Rebirth patch. It's the perfect combination. Yet another improvement are the cinematics, which are enhanced with an AI upscaler. This is thanks to the HD mod made by Team X. It works hand in hand with the seamless project to present the best possible graphics. But I'm sure you're interested in trying it out, so let's get started. Let me just say you'll need the Japanese source next version of the game. Most of you won't own it, so you will have to find it online. I can't give the link, but just look for it on the internet archive. It's not hard to find. Once you've downloaded the game, it's time to install. It's an ISO file, so just double click and allow it to open an explorer window. However, the text is a little strange. It's not written in English, so just copy what I do and you'll be fine. It's never a good idea to install to the programs folder. I normally keep my games in the games folder because that makes it easier to find. Take note of my options and then continue to the next step. The CD key is not provided on the ISO file, but I will keep it in the description of my video. Just copy and paste it here to move on. After the installation, we need to update the source next version. It actually comes in two parts, so download both. When that's done, we can open the game folder and then drag the update inside. When it asks to overwrite files, do so. I'm unsure what the second download is for, but I just extracted it into my game folder and then ran the executable. It seemed to do something, so I'm happy with it. And feel free to delete this file. It's done its job, so you no longer need it. To ensure that texture mods work as intended, we need to tweak the game's compatibility settings. Right click on the icon and select properties. Then click on the compatibility tab and change the DPI settings as shown in the video. The classic rebirth patch is essential to make the game playable on modern systems. Go ahead and download it to your computer. Installing the patch is as simple as extracting the file to your game folder. Just follow what I do. As stated earlier, the HD mod will serve as a basis for the seamless project. We'll download and install it first. Again, installation is nothing more than extracting the files into the game folder. Be aware, however, that the mod includes the classic rebirth patch. I already installed it, so there's no need to do it again. Anyway, you'll be asked if you want to overwrite files. So just click yes. And finally, we come to the seamless project itself. It's downloaded and installed the same way as the HD mod. Copy the contents into the game folder and override as necessary. The first time you run the game, you'll be presented with the default configuration panel. I would suggest that you activate the following settings. After that you can click on OK and start playing the game. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.